Okay? If possible, we want to extend this function to a new function, g of x, that's continuous at x equals 2. Well, you can see f of x is continuous everywhere except for at 2. Because if you plug in 2, you end up getting 0 over 0, which is undefined. So f of 2 is undefined, so that's fine. Um, but we can simplify this. f of x just equals 1, as long as x doesn't equal 2. So all we're going to do here is, and remember, our rule is if you can simplify the function down to some other function except for at one point, that means there's just a hole there, and we can extend the function by plugging in that hole. So I'm going to create g of x, which is going to equal f of x everywhere. So it's going to equal 1 everywhere except for x, at two, except for a 2. So g of x equals 1 everywhere except for 2. So it's the same exact thing as f of x. Any x value you plug into f, you're going to get back 1 except when you plug in 2. And since I want this thing to be continuous everywhere, I want to define it at 2, okay? Because so it has to be defined. If I want it to be continuous 2, it has to be defined. So I have to define what it is at 2. And I want the limit to exist. Well, since this function, g of x, is the same as f of x, which is 1 everywhere except for a 2, well then, as x approaches 2, the limit should be 1, okay? Which means my function has to equal that. All right, I'm just using my, my conditions for continuity. That is an ugly, ugly one. I'm just using my conditions for continuity here. Okay, it has to equal 1, and that's because this is what we just did. We said the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x equals 1. So that's what I need g of 2 to equal. I need g of 2 to equal 1, because the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x is the same as the limit as x goes to 2 of g of x, because they're the same function everywhere but 2.